Welcome to the Trimble Career and Technical Center's Open House 2019. Thanks so much for coming to see what we have to offer here at TCTC. I'm Kara DeToro, Academic Supervisor. And I'm Nick Leibig, an English teacher here at the TCTC. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Tonight, we're going to be highlighting the exciting things that can happen here at the TCTC and to help you envision the kind of future that you could have through the Trumbull Career and Technical Center. So while you're in the building tonight, make sure to explore as much as possible so that you can find the program that best fits you. To help you make that decision, we'll be joined by special guests all night long to show you all of the great things that TCTC has to offer. Whether you plan to enroll, enlist, or be employed after graduation, whatever your E, you'll see that there's something here for you. So make sure to walk around, check out the labs, you know, stick your head in the cafeteria, uh, poke into some academic classrooms. You might be surprised at some of the things that you're going to find. Um, what are what are you kind of excited tonight uh, about, Kara? Excited about so many things tonight, mm. but the dental assisting program really gets me mm. excited. Um, yeah, you know they do it's, they do good work they do there. Great work, um, uh, lots of job opportunities upon graduation. Mm -hmm. Great certifications there for mm -hmm. that. Welding's always popular. Mr. Oleski's the best. Uh, yes. Bolt and metal uh, uh, fracking and printing your own money essentially. <laughs> All of those great things we have. You know, kids are into. Um, social media things mm -hmm. these days and, and taking selfies ah. and so we have a selfie station downstairs so if you ah. figure out what it is you want to do here at TCTC you can take a picture with a prop and yeah yeah as an English teacher I'm pretty excited to uh, to really focus on the college credit put college credit plus opportunities here I know I've got a class there that I'm really kicking their butts with some uh, tough writing right now they're loving it though awesome yeah yeah um, what else okay. we're oh HVAC important yeah need it H, uh, we've got the HVAC, we've got that going on. I think the interactive multimedia kids who are broadcasting this right now would like us to throw out the hashtag as well. Sorry if I sound like a middle-aged man, but hey, that's what you're getting right now. Hashtag TCTC Live 2019 if you'd like to interact with us over the Twitter bots machines. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Uh, when we come back after the break, we'll be catching up with interactive multimedia's own roving reporters. We've got Nick Goodworth and Michael McKenzie all around the building, but first, we'll join Blake Stout in Lecture Hall B to tell us what kind of skills you'll acquire while you're here at TCTC. Exercise science isn't just about lifting weights. The exercise science and sports medicine program at TCTC helps its students learn how to help people overcome their fears, cope with and prevent injuries, and learn how to live longer, healthier lives. Exercise science students will study injury recognition and prevention, exercise programming, nutrition, and weight management. Students in the program can receive dual credit in medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. Upon completion of this program, students are prepared for an advanced education in a number of exercise science and or sports medicine related fields, or they're prepared for immediate employment upon graduation. The Construction Technologies Program prepares students for all sorts of opportunities in the construction field, like learning the basics in masonry, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. In addition, students learn to operate a wide range of professional power tools to perform customer service for both commercial and nonprofit clients. You will also learn to interpret blueprints and specifications to construct wood products and design digital woodworking templates to be used on a CNC router. Recently, students have remodeled century homes, built beautiful two-story family dwellings, and completed many other community service projects. Students have built some amazing things in the class, as well as off the school premises. Students enjoy this rewarding work firsthand and prepare to go on to advanced training or apprenticeship opportunities. Air Force Junior ROTC. Would you like to explore a career in the military? TCTC offers Air Force Junior ROTC. The curriculum emphasizes the Air Force's heritage and traditions, the development of flight, applied flight sciences, military aerospace policies, and space exploration. This program is grounded in the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all that we do. Hi guys, I'm Blake Stout. I'm a junior here at TCTC and I take the Interact Multimedia course. I'm here with some of the Skills USA students and officers to talk about what they have come here to learn and just to get to know them a little bit. So if you guys don't mind, can you please introduce yourselves? 
Hi, I'm Abby Weiber. I'm a junior in the cosmetology program at TCTC, and I'm going to be competing on March 2nd at ATEC in the nail care competition. Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm Emma. My home school is Liberty. Mine's Lakeview. And we're both seniors competing in the cosmetology program at Skills USA. Hi, my name is Austin Lattier. I'm in the cosmetology program, and I will be competing in the aesthetics competition at ATEC in Asheville County on March 2nd. Hi, I am Nicholas Hall, and I am a junior currently enrolled in the auto service program at Trumbull Career and Technical Center located in Warren, Ohio. And I am proud to be one of your 2019 Skills USA Northeast Regional Officers. Hello, my name is Colton Schoonover. I'm a junior enrolled in the welding program at Trumbull Career and Technical Center located in Warren, Ohio. And I'm proud to be one of your 2019 Skills USA Ohio Northeast Regional Officers. Hello, my name is Chasman Rigsby. I'm a junior currently enrolled in the welding program at Trumbull Career and Technical Center located in Warren, Ohio. And I'm proud to be one of your 2019 Northeast Regional Officers. Hello, my name is David Bontrager and I'm a junior enrolled in the welding program at Trumbull Career and Technical Center. So, uh, can some of you guys please tell me about your guys' programs and what you like doing in there? Well, I love being in the cosmetology program because you learn something new every day. It's a great opportunity to get out there and express your creative flow. I enjoy the auto service lab because we have many different opportunities to take uh, the ASC test, which is how we become Automotive Service Excellence Certified Master Technicians. I like being in the welding program a lot. Mr. Oleski is an amazing teacher, and I really like having hands-on experience to be able to go out into the workforce and succeed, and the only way to do that is having hands-on training like we're receiving in that program. Mr. Oleski provides us with uh, a lot of experience in order to get our certification, so we are prepared for when we do go out into the workforce, which is great. If you guys don't mind me asking, what do you like here at TCTC? I like that it's a different group of people and everything is so diverse here and I feel like everyone belongs somewhere and everyone fits in. To me, it really does feel like it's a giant community here, unlike at my home school, because everybody knows what they want to do and they know why they're here, so everybody here is driven with passion. I knew I wanted to be in the welding program for a while before I enrolled into TCTC. Ever since I started welding with my dad, I knew I wanted to be here. And now that I'm here, I see that I like it a lot. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for letting me talk to you and get to know a little bit more about your guys' decision of TCTC and what your guys' program is. Um, just want to say hashtag TCTC 2019 for this <laughs> open house. And uh, yeah, thank you a lot and we'll be right back in the Fab Lab right after this short break. How would you like to help power the world? The Electrical Technology Program teaches the basic fundamentals of electricity and safety. In this program, you will use your logical thinking and math skills to interpret blueprints and layout design. Students also design, stage, and install commercial and residential electrical wiring for power control systems from rough in to finish. There are great opportunities in this field after graduation. There's a great demand for electrical technicians, especially in the areas of solar and wind energy. What's your E? Enroll. Enlist. Employ. Find your E at TCTC. Landscaping and design technologies is all about sustaining our environment. Making our world a more comfortable, beautiful, and healthy place to live is what we do. We are the professional green growth industry. Students in this program will acquire skills to produce and care for plants indoors, under glass, and outdoors. Floral design and retail floral marketing talents are needed in every community. Landscape service and design continue growth as high demand, well paid careers. Outdoor power equipment operation is key for all areas of landscaping. 
Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nicholas Goodworth. And I'm Michael McKenzie. And we're live from the Fab Lab, or the Fabrication Laboratory, if you will. And we're joined by Mrs. Henning, who's going to be telling us a little bit about what we can find in here. So, Mrs. Henning, what is behind us here? The first piece of equipment that we'll talk about is the laser engraver. And this machine allows us to etch into and cut into various types of materials. And what kind of materials would you say that you can kind of etch into? So I have two examples to show you. The first is an etching that we've done into wood. So here's an example. And you can actually etch into and cut wood. So here we've etched the TCTC logo into the state of Ohio. Another option that we have is etching into and cutting into cylindrical objects such as coffee mugs. So here's an example of a logo that we etched into a glass mug for an outside customer. So moving along here, I notice there's a bit more machinery. Would you care to explain what this is here? So this machine is a large format vinyl printer cutter. So it allows us to print onto and cut various um, vinyl media. So for an example, I have a banner that we've printed. And this is an outside customer service job that I printed for a customer who went to a concert and thought it was an awesome picture. And so I'll be trimming this and putting grommets into it for him to hang. Interesting stuff. Thank you. Now, in the corner here, I noticed that there's a bit of newer machinery. Could you care to explain what this is here? So this machine is our newest addition, and we just got this this summer, and this is our UV printer. The UV printer allows us to print in various colors as well as adding a glossed embossed effect and printing into white onto various objects. So one example is printing directly onto various sizes of stretched canvas. This is an 8 by 10 canvas, but we can print on objects up to 13 by 20. This is an, an example of printing onto wood using the UV printer, and I'm not sure that you can really see it, but this has a nice glossed embossed effect that allows us to add texture to objects that we print on as well. And what's some of the stuff that we can find over here? So the machines that I've shown you so far uh, have allowed us to print two-dimensional art onto two-dimensional objects. The machines that we have on the other side of the media center allow us to print in 3D. Right. What's some of the examples over here? So the first machine that we have is a CNC mill, and this allows us to what's called do um, subtractive rapid prototyping to make our three-dimensional artwork come to life. So for example, we have this model piano, an object from a video game, and this is called chemical wood or mill foam, and it's designed specifically for this particular machine. Right, and what's some of the machines over here? So an alternative to um, negative rapid prototyping is additive rapid prototyping using the 3D printers. So the first machine that we have is a large volume 3D printer, which allows us to 3D print objects up to 18 cubic inches. But over here, you can see that we have two smaller 3D printers. And the 3D pr printers are used to, like I said, do additive rapid prototyping to do things that are for school projects, like a mo model of Machu Picchu. But then we can also do things like signs and um, school mascots and those kinds of things as well. So how would you say the Fab Lab is important to students here at TCTC? What I think is the biggest draw about the Fab Lab is that it's that way that students can see their projects come to life. Um, in the past, we've spent many, many years designing for customers, doing for customers, building for customers, but never had a real way to make those projects come to life. So now students who are sitting behind a computer designing this artwork for various pieces of equipment now have access to that to print their objects. And they have the satisfaction of actually delivering the finished product to the customer. And another question I have would be, how often do you think that students are coming through and working on projects in here? So student projects are being worked on constantly. In addition to student projects, this is also open to the outside community. So we have a customer service that we do, and that's a collaboration between various labs, like interactive multimedia and visual design, to design the artwork, and then making that come to life then in the Fab Lab. Um, and how would you say a student would go about um, creating a project or just from start to finish what their project would be in here? Sure. So the first part is to design the artwork, whether it be two-dimensional or three-dimensional. And then they can visit the Media Center's website to see what piece of equipment would be the best to use. And they can actually submit a help ticket that then we can start that design process. 
All right, my name is Nicholas Goodworth. We are here from the Fab Lab. Back to you. It would be impossible to go through the day without touching something that has been welded, like cars, furniture, ATVs, submarines, and in this case, even the kitchen sink. In welding, you'll dig right in and get classroom instruction as well as hands-on training. Big money and plenty of opportunities exist for completers of this program. How do we get oil? Through a welded pipeline, of course. Once an accomplished welder with the certifications you will gain at the TCTC, you'll have the opportunity to advance to foreman or even an inspector. College credits can be earned to advance your education to become an engineer or metallurgist. There is and always will be work in this career path. In the Visual Design and Imaging program, you will learn to design and produce advertising and marketing projects from start to finish. Students are taught to provide excellent customer service while interpreting job specifications, estimating, ordering, and delivering client projects on schedule. Creative students completing this program can even become an accredited printer. The machinery and computers used are the newest in digital imaging technology. Here Welcome back here at TCTC. We have a staff who's dedicated to making sure that our school is a comfortable and inclusive learning environment for all of our students. And no one is more dedicated to that mission than our next guest. Here to talk about the TCTC Unity Initiative is guidance counselor, Tina Hentosh. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Spatoro. So Tina, sometimes there's some confusion with our students. Is TCTC Unity a, a student club or how would you describe it? Well, it's not actually a club. It's as fun as a club, though. Um, really, it's a school-wide campaign. TCTC Unity is really um, the Trumbull Career and Technical Center community. We welcome diversity and individual differences while we encourage people to develop their emerging ease. Um, really, within the framework of the campaign, there's freedom to do what matters. Good. And so, what does matter? Well, educating about diversity matters and ensuring that people know that they matter is what matters. TCTC Unity's slogan is actually, there's unity in diversity. Therefore, it's important that we ensure uh, that individual students are developing their identity, um, their own truth, finding what they're excited about um, while they're um, looking at their emerging E, you know, really looking at the whole person. Um, what else matters? Well, looking at an inclusive environment where both equity and excellence in education are a strong theme also. Perfect. And so you've been doing a lot of great things starting last school year, into this school year, what are some of the recent steps that TCTC has taken to further our unity campaign? Well, you know, last year, one of the kind of neat things um, we did is we got shirts for everybody in the school. They're nice bright orange shirts, um, and they have our logo on it, Unity and Diversity. Um, and then this year, uh, it was really nice. Administration made sure that the new students were able to get shirts too. Um, on Fridays and then on select organized days, um, people all wear their shirts. Um, actually, last year, uh, a group of students organized random acts of kindness. They used their lunchtime to get together and do that. Um, we also look at doing things on Unity Day. That's a day in October where um, people uh, look at doing things for bully prevention. This school year is really neat. A group of um, students in the Career Path for Teaching program, they're really fabulous, by the way, there. Um, they took on a group project. They worked with me, but they really did all the work. They um, came up with uh, an educational workshop on the topic of bullying, and then they presented it with just a little tiny help from me um, in our huge lecture hall um, to any student who wanted to. Um, our lecture hall holds about 200 students, and they did it all afternoon long, and they talked about different kinds of bullying, ways students can handle bullying, and I think it really had a really strong impact because it came from people their own age. Another thing we did earlier this year is something to do with um, kind of bringing to the forefront social isolation. Um, there's a project out there called Start With Hello Week, and we jumped right into it. 
Um, and it came at a good time too, because as you know, students are coming in from 20 different school districts here. So um, what we did is along with talking about social isolation, we took that opportunity to use it as like um, an icebreaker and really encouraging students to talk with people that they don't know. So um, we did some different activities um, throughout the week at lunchtime. In fact, we even had this massive rock, paper, scissors game at lunch. You remember that, right, Ms. Yeah. So we're running a little close on time. Um, thank you for all of the work that you're doing to help you're us welcome, build our school community and um, you know just make everybody feel unified and, and good about themselves and good about each other. Um, what's one one reason students should attend TCTC if somebody's here tonight? <laughs> One reason. Oh my gosh, there's so many reasons. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to stay focused. Them. I'm going to stay focused yeah. on unity. Okay. And, uh, then um, our TCTC unity. I started out this segment and I said that TCTC unity is a campaign um, with a framework of freedom to do what matters. So really, if you are looking for a place where you want to be yourself, you want to find what you have passion in to do in life. Um, you want to feel like you're part of a larger community while you're doing that and have fun. TCTC is for you. TCTC is the way. Because here at this school, we are one, we are united. Perfect, thank you. So up next, we're gonna learn a little bit about really how hospitable TCTC really is with um, our crew out and about, Nick and Mike. And make sure to tweet us at hashtag TCTCLive2019. You can see it right there on the screen. Thank goodness, because that's how I knew what to say. All right, Ms. Antosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hospitality Services prepares students for a variety of positions in this fast-growing industry. First-year students work within TCTC at different job stations. Juniors also run a catering business called Top Notch Catering. Second year students train with employee mentors at an area hospital four days a week. You will learn to develop meal plans, shop, prepare, cook, and serve meals with artistic presentation. TCTC's heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration program prepares students for immediate employment after graduation in this always needed industry. Or students can continue their education for advanced career opportunities. While in the program, students will explore HVACR in industrial and residential atmospheres. They will exercise problem-solving skills to design and produce solutions for heating and air conditioning systems from concept to completion and apply specific learned skills and experiences towards solving challenging problems in the world of HVACR. Hi, my name is Nick Labig. I uh, teach college writing one through Kent State and uh, here at the TCTC, and it's a really rigorous class. Uh, we read a lot. Uh, we tear apart a lot of scholarly stuff. We discuss it. I like to have student ideas drive uh, the class rather than uh, me tell you exactly what everything means. Um, we write a lot. Um, and we revise these big old papers that, again, use a lot of, uh, use a lot of scholarly sources. So it's, uh, it's enriching work, um, it's tough work, and it's gonna make you better at the things you do. So uh, that's my College Writing One class. Am I okay to do one more of those guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Nick Labag. I teach uh, College Writing One through Kent State here at the TCTC. Um, you know, before you take the class, it's just good to know that it's, it's pretty rigorous. We read a lot, we do a lot of scholarly uh, stuff that we, we tear apart, try to understand, work together as a class to discuss and create meaning out of. Uh, we write a whole lot of pages and we um, revise. So senior project is a phrase that has struck fear into the hearts of seniors since, well really since there were seniors, but we are now in the second year of our, our new capstone project here at TCTC, which really gives our students an opportunity to highlight all of their accomplishments while they're here with us, while they're preparing to achieve their E, whether it be enrolled, enlisted, or employed. But what exactly is Capstone? And what is hashtag Capstone? And why does Defense Day kind of sound so scary? Well, we have Capstone organizer and English teacher Katie Wright here to explain all of us, explain all of it to us right now. 
Okay. Thanks. So what we've tried to do is prepare students for uh, the next level by taking everything that they're learning here and creating a digital portfolio. And we're doing that by using websites so that students can take pictures of their programs, their academics, anything they're doing career related. So we're taking really a paper resume and we're making it very visual. Um, and it's giving students an edge because employers want evidence of what they're doing in their labs. So we spend approximately two years with students building their portfolios and then they will defend their portfolios on Defense Day. So what that looks like is we will have a day where we will bring judges in from the industries and students will get to present their capstone portfolio and explain why they're ready to enroll, enlist, or employ. Uh, and they will be able to show those employers evidence of what they've learned here at TCTC. Excellent. And we've had some real success stories already. So can you think of an example yeah. of somebody who's used this out in the real world? Absolutely. We currently have a student, her name's Tia Sorrell. She's an engineering senior. And she used her binder to get an engineering uh, internship. Um, and they wanted examples of all the different principles of engineering she's done, uh, the lessons she's had to kind of prove that she's qualified for the job. So that's been very successful. Uh, we have many success stories, even as simple as someone getting a babysitting job because they were in the early childhood program and they proved that they had CPR and first aid safety skills. Um, so uh, this, this is really benefiting students in a lot of ways. Excellent. And our students love it for a lot of reasons and all of the reasons that you stated, but they also love this hashtag cap snap yes. element that you've added. So Absolutely. can you explain what that is and where people can check it out? Absolutely. Anytime students do anything that's related to their career, their program, or academics, even if it's the outside world, a personal hobby or sport, they're using the hashtag CapSnap to represent the really cool things going on in their lives and in our buildings. Um, and that kind of promotes what's going on here at TCTC and it also uh, gives them an edge if they're trying to apply for a job. Um, and we collect kind of all the pictures and students are able to see what kind of neat things are going on in our building. Excellent. Um, anything else? <laughs> anything at all about capstone that maybe is a you know something that's under misunderstood or something that students are leery about or um, I think something that we're changing this year is for defense day um, students are going to be asked um, questions that they would get in an interview uh, so our goal is to have them be prepared with example questions like show me evidence of your greatest strength or show me evidence of why I should hire you for this job so we're really trying to get them ready for their time here after TCTC. Excellent. Um, so speaking of their time here at TCTC, we've got students in the building who haven't started that yet, but they're thinking about they're it. Thinking about what it. What is one reason that you can give why students should apply and come and be come to TCTC? People here. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I would say first of all, students get to spend half the day in their lab, uh, building, designing, and coming up with things that they're not going to do maybe at their home school because they don't have access to. It gives them an edge for real world application. Um, you know, students are going on field trips, they're competing nationally, and all these things can go on their capstone project, which is really good. Awesome. Well, Mrs. Wright, thank you so much yeah, for coming course. and talking to us, and yeah. thanks for all you do with capstone. Okay, thank all you. Right. So fire, metal, and fracking, what's not to love about our welding program? Stay tuned, we'll be in there next. Welcome to the new school year at TCTC. There's the, there's the video. Here at the Trumbull Career and Technical Center, students participate in a capstone project, which showcases all of their work from their junior and senior years. When students enter their junior year, they will develop a website that displays their academic, program, and employment artifacts for their entire time while attending TCTC. Ultimately, this website can be used as an e-portfolio to help students pursue future career development or post-secondary education options. The new website will showcase student learning in lab and academics with product evidence, artifacts, and assignments. Written reflections can be added throughout so students can reflect on their learning and develop a growth mindset. Students can take before and after pictures of projects and assignments as well as pictures of their participation in CTSO activities and competitions. Students can also document their skills, job shadow experiences, awards earned, and more. In addition to physical products, the website can also display examples of student interests, hobbies, character, and other achievements. The options are limitless. Because all students are given a Google account upon enrollment, all students will create their websites using the Google News Sites platform. Student websites will act as a digital resume or e-portfolio to represent different areas of their time at TCTC. For example, topics addressed will include information about themselves, successes in the academic classroom, program-related projects, or experiences related to their career and future goals. In 
order to keep students on track, benchmarks will be developed with specific deadlines for each grading period. Academic teachers and program instructors will check on student progress on a regular basis for student credit towards the nine-week grade. Important information and documents will be located under the current student section of the TCCC website. In order to prepare students for the next level beyond high school, at the end of the senior year, students will attend Defense Day, where they interact in a mock-style job interview and use their website to defend their growth during their time at TCTC. This experience will help prepare students for expectations in college and career, as well as allow students the opportunity to showcase their achievements and accomplishments as a TCTC completer. The final ePortfolio allows students to showcase their learning and growth to those outside of the classroom. The Public Safety Program is designed for students desiring to enter law enforcement, firefighting, emergency medical technician, and 911 emergency telecommunications occupations. Public and community service-minded students are presented with uniquely challenging opportunities to obtain adult-level professional credentialing by the state of Ohio the Federal Emergency Management System, the National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians, and the Association of Public Safety Communications Officials International. In animal science, health, and technologies, students have the opportunity to explore the field of animal care, which includes animal health, veterinary science, and medical terminology. Students will develop and apply professional grooming and animal care skills as part of the customer service the program offers. Many students choose to continue their education towards careers as veterinary technicians, wildlife managers or biologists, and even veterinarians through completion of a two-year or four-year college program. Students are eligible to be employed in many animal care fields due to their basic training in important aspects of animal care upon program completion. Early Childhood Education the Early Childhood Education Program teaches students how to manage a daycare facility and interact with children on a developmentally appropriate level. The TCTC operates its own state certified preschool where students gain first-hand experience. You will learn the techniques of working with these young children under adult supervision and the instructors. TCTC remains totally committed to children. So little bit of technical difficulties down in the welding lab we're working through it but we're going to pitch it back to some great program videos for you to check out more of what we have to offer here at TCTC. Exercise science isn't just about lifting weights. The exercise science and sports medicine program at TCTC helps its students learn how to help people overcome their fears, cope with and prevent injuries, and learn how to live longer healthier lives. Exercise science students will study injury recognition and prevention, exercise programming, nutrition, and weight management. Students in the program can receive dual credit in medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. Upon completion of this program, students are prepared for an advanced education in a number of exercise science and or sports medicine related fields, or they're prepared for immediate employment upon graduation. The Construction Technologies Program prepares students for all sorts of opportunities in the construction field, like learning the basics in masonry, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. In addition, students learn to operate a wide range of professional power tools to perform customer service for both commercial and nonprofit clients. You will also learn to interpret blueprints and specifications to construct wood products and design digital woodworking templates to be used on a CNC router. Recently, students have remodeled century homes, built beautiful two-story family dwellings, and completed many other community service projects. Students have built some amazing things in the class as well as off the school premises. Students enjoy this rewarding work firsthand and prepare to go on to advanced training or apprenticeship opportunities. Restaurant Services is focused on every aspect of culinary arts and restaurant management. The curriculum includes dining room management, cooking and baking, and menu planning. TCTC has their own restaurant. The students own the in-school restaurant, The Cove, and they, not the instructors, manage the daily service, applying what they learn to give guests the best experience possible. In addition, seniors study for the NRAEF Manager's Food Safety Sanitation Certification, a certification
tradition that is taught in colleges and culinary schools around the country. This live stream is being brought to you by the Interactive Multimedia Lab. In Interactive Multimedia, there are three shows produced each week. If you are interested in continuing your career in producing media, stop on up for a live demonstration. If you like digging in and repairing all kinds of engines, there's a program that will spark your interest. It's Power Equipment Mechanics. Students in this program learn to troubleshoot, repair, overhaul, and maintain gas and diesel power-driven machinery. There are motorcycles, ATVs, boats, lawnmowers, and more involved. Also included is powertrain hydraulics and electrical system repair. Career paths for the teaching profession. The teachers at the TCTC have fun and get real enjoyment out of teaching students. Someday you may even want to be a teacher. Career paths for the teaching profession is designed to give you a broad base of educational experience. Students in this program develop the art of instruction by creating dynamic lessons and teaching them to actual students. You'll be given an opportunity to achieve a seamless transition for college and a teacher educator program. TCTC has been awarded state and national recognition for student achievement and school improvement, including the High School That Works Platinum Award in 2014, four National School Improvement Awards, and Ohio's Outstanding Career Center Award. TCTC, your success starts here. What we're setting up here that you have and we're putting together or constructing is what's called an aquaponics system. And aquaponics okay. is where we use uh, kind of the idea of hydroponics, that is growing plants without soil. That will take place up here in the top, but traditionally yeah, uh, in hydroponic systems, you have to add nutrients to the water for the plants. In this particular case, we will have fish growing down below in this growth chamber. They will be providing their waste that they generate will be pumped to the top growth chamber for the plants to utilize as nutrients. When raising plants in a hydroponic fashion, one of the ways in which we do this is something called a, a, an ebb and flow cycle. The growth bed where the plants will be growing will be flooded periodically. And what you see is that you can efficiently utilize a relatively small space. You can utilize relatively few resources to generate not only vegetable crops, but also meat in the form of fish fillets. Hi, we're back. I'm Nick Leibig, English teacher at the TCTC, here with academic supervisor, Cara DeToro. But Perhaps we should talk a little bit about what your previous position was in career development. Oh, sure. Could you talk a little bit about what that means? Mm -hmm. So career development is a big term that basically describes, um, you know, helping students be ready for whatever that next step is after graduation. Here, we like to label that as uh, an E word. Yes. Yeah. What's your E? Are you going to be enrolled, enlisted, or employed mm -hmm. after graduation? Can you talk a little bit about the beginnings of that program? Again, if you're walking around the school for the first time, you're going to be seeing this letter, uh, this combination of letters quite a bit. Right. So what exactly, uh, where did that come from, and what does it mean to you? Sure. So, um, you know, it's important that students have goals, but we want them to be able to obtain them, reach those goals as well. And while we're here in high school, we want to be able to best support them to do that. So basically taking all the different goals that our students had, we thought, okay, there's an E word for all of those things. And by students kind of declaring what their E is, it mm -hmm. helps them set that end. And then we can support them in a variety of ways mm -hmm. as they progress through their two years with us. Has the Triple E program been successful, you would say that? Yeah, I think so. We're all wearing shirts tonight, <laughs> right, that have an E on it. Um, on the, right here, there yep. you can see a little bit. There we go. Um, I think our students know mm -hmm. what their E is. And like I said, mm -hmm. we're kind of doing things pretty regularly to help make them aware of it and support them. So whether that's help with applying for college, whether that's our early experience advanced placement program, mm -hmm. um, you know, a pre-apprentice opportunity, mm -hmm. or you know, making connections with individuals in the military to help them as they work towards enlistment, we mm -hmm. offer all of those things. Um, can you talk about maybe one of our students who had a particularly successful experience sure. here at TCTC? I'm so, sorry. No, I, no, I no, you. and you're great because we love that. So we like to call them our e alumni. So these are students who have, you know, achieved their E and they can come back and they can talk to us. So we've got students who um, worked at advanced placement and now they're working for a business full time while they're enrolled in an apprentice program. Mm -hmm. That's huge. We've got students who 
you know, completed TCTC, mm -hmm. and so they are employed, maybe as a, cosmetolo mm -hmm. as a cosmetologist. So they're doing hair somewhere, mm -hmm. but they're also enrolled because they're going to school, mm -hmm. they're earning that college education. So we've got, you know, some individuals that I could name, yeah. but we've got a lot of kids that are doing Good. great things with their ease. All right, I'm gonna kill out of the uh, career development sure. one more time. So you've moved in to be the academic supervisor this year. It's fun, yeah. yes, yeah. So this, uh, at another school, this would essentially be like a principal, like an correct? Like principal, yes. That's what <laughs> <laughs> you, when someone says principal, you don't have to add the assistant to it. So um, you've been doing walkthroughs around the school. You see what the academic offerings here at the school. I know you popped into my classroom the other day and were wildly impressed by everything you saw. Everything. But, but um, what, what's one of the things that you saw at the school uh, you've seen academically that you think, yeah, something's really working here? Yeah, so many things that actually make me want to go back to high school because I would love to learn in the way that our students are learning. And I think sometimes the misconception with the Career Center is that academics aren't a big thing, but they are. They're half of our students' day. We have a wonderful staff of teachers. They are using technology. They recognize that a lot of our students are here because they're um, kinesthetic learners. They like to work with their mm. hands. So we have a lot of project-based learning opportunities um, and a lot of student choice. So yeah. I love you know the freedom that our students have to pick the projects they want to complete or to read the books that they want to read. And the excellent support that they get from their instructors helps them on the academic side Mm. working towards their ease. So, yeah. oh. good stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. Right? Sounds good. Okay. Well, I, I guess you've been asking this question of I everyone all night. Whew. So, <laughs> I, one more thing. Why do you think any prospective any prospective students in this building, how would you pitch them on TCTC? Why do you why would you tell them they should come here? Sure. You know, TCTC is such a unique experience and it allows you to just really discover who you are and, and who it is that you want to be. And you know, we've got students who come here kind of knowing that. We've got students who aren't sure, but they want to try some stuff out. We've got students who come and do something, and then they're like, eh, no thank you. Like, that is not for me, but that is OK, because they've made that decision uh, you know, before they really, really jump into right. the rest of their lives. And so mm -hmm. just the amount of preparation that you get while you're here with us, mm -hmm. um, if you're a motivated student, you know, if, if you're looking to find what it is you think you want to do, or even if you already know that, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So many ways that we can help prepare you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Good. Nice job for an thank, impromptu thank interview you. right there. Still, I have a few questions. Uh, I think we're going to throw it out to uh, a few more commercials, uh, filling you in on some of the programs that we have, and then we're going to check in with Blake in Studio B shortly. So please stick around and again, poke your head in some labs. You might be surprised at what you find here at the TCTC. Computer Networking and Security. In the Computer Networking and Security program, students will learn network design, computer security skills, database applications, business fundamentals, and PC troubleshooting and repair. This program is designed for those students interested in working with computer hardware and in expanding the field of security as the challenge for keeping data safe in a growing online world increases. Web Design and Application Development. The Web Design and Application Development program is a redesigned program evolving from its predecessor, Information Technology. Students have the opportunity to study all aspects of web design, including web programming, web writing, page layout and design, and the relationship with online business. In addition, students will be given a strong foundation in programming, a top 10 growing career field. The new format will open the doors to include instruction in growing technologies such as programming mobile applications and the Android platform. Hey guys, so I'm Blake Stout. I'm a junior in Interactive Multimedia, and I come here to TCTC to learn a little bit about the media program. I am here right now with a engineering student, and I'm, well, I'm gonna ask you to introduce yourself and just kind of tell us a little bit about your program. Okay, well, I'm Casey Brown. I'm a senior in the engineering program. And uh, though engineering wasn't my first choice, uh, I learned a lot in it. I learned a lot to help me get through college with credits, with uh, CAD or OSHA or certifications. And we learned a lot in, uh, to help us get a good job too. Um, one of the things we learned was about solving puzzles or in reverse engineering. Say like this uh, ball here, we had to take apart and put back together and figure out how it worked. Um, we do a lot of projects like that in engineering where we work on CO2 cars, our robotics, even some rockets or bridge calculations. Um, I learned a lot as a senior, I'd say. That helped me through uh, even getting jobs or talking to job shadowing opportunities in some like plastic factories or uh, machining factories. Uh, we can do everything from milling to uh, lathe work. 
And overall, it's a good pro it's a good class. Even with uh, robotics, we learn how to program them and make them run autonomously for uh, competitions in VEX. Well, um, what is your favorite thing here at TCTC? Um, here at TCTC, I'd say how it really cuts between the lab work and the uh, academics. So with like English, government, physics. Um, I like how we get a lot of time to work in our lab and learn how to do things in there. Mm -hmm. Or even going out on projects to go to like uh, machining companies or factories and learn how they work. That sounds really fun. Uh, from your homeschool, how is it different? Um, it was a bit of a culture shock coming from Lakeview to uh, TCTC, especially knowing uh, I wouldn't have a lot of my friends who weren't coming. Um, but I definitely made a lot of new friends here. Like a lot of us learn in the same ways or uh, even in just enjoying things in like-minded people in say like our lab. Yeah, I feel you there. TCTC is a lot different than my home school. Well, I do want to say thank you for coming on air and talking about, about your program and about your experience and everything that you've learned here so far at TCTC. Um, we will be right back after this short break. There's no problem. I'm glad I could come. Marketing education. There are dozens of opportunities in the marketing profession. After all, marketing encompasses everything you see and do. This is why TCTC offers marketing education. This program fosters an entrepreneurial spirit by operating a student-run business using current technology. Students employ visual design skills to merchandise products in an appealing retail environment. During the senior year, students are co-op, which allows them to grow in a marketing-related position outside of the school. Seniors are released from school early each day, which gives them this opportunity. Marketing students are also offered various credentials, such as Serve Safe Beginners Course, CPR Red Cross Certification, OSHA Certification, as well as School-Based Enterprise Certification. In addition, marketing students can earn college credits through our various articulation agreements. Auto Collision Technology Unfortunately, car collisions happen, but in auto collision repair and refinishing, you'll learn how to make every fender bender look like it's never happened. Men and women can become top mechanics in this program too. You'll learn structural frame and unibody repair and alignment, not to mention custom paintwork. How would you like to help power the world? The Electrical Technology Program teaches the basic fundamentals of electricity and safety. In this program, you will use your logical thinking and math skills to interpret blueprints and lay out design. Students also design, stage, and install commercial and residential electrical wiring for power control systems from rough in to finish. There are great opportunities in this field after graduation. There's a great demand for electrical technicians, especially in the areas of solar and wind energy. What's your E? Enroll. Enlist. Employ. Find your E at TCTC. Landscaping and design technologies is all about sustaining our environment. Making our world a more comfortable, beautiful, and healthy place to live is what we do. We are the professional green growth industry. Students in this program will acquire skills to produce and care for plants indoors, under glass, and outdoors. Floral design and retail floral marketing talents are needed in every community. Landscape service and design continue growth as high demand, well paid careers. Outdoor power equipment operation is key for all areas of landscaping. The public safety program is designed for students desiring to enter law enforcement, firefighting, emergency medical technician and 911 emergency telecommunications occupations. Public and community service minded students are presented with uniquely challenging opportunities to obtain adult level professional credentialing by the state of Ohio the Federal Emergency Management System, the National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians, and the Association of Public Safety Communications Officials International. In Animal Science Health and Technologies, students have the opportunity to explore the field of animal care, which includes animal health, veterinary science, and medical terminology. Students will develop and apply professional grooming and animal care skills as part of the customer service the program offers. 
many students choose to continue their education towards careers as veterinary technicians, wildlife managers or biologists, and even veterinarians through completion of a two-year or four-year college program. Students are eligible to be employed in many animal care fields due to their basic training in important aspects of animal care upon program completion. Early Childhood Education The Early Childhood Education program teaches students how to manage a daycare facility and interact with children on a developmentally appropriate level. The TCTC operates its own state certified preschool where students gain first-hand experience. You'll learn the techniques of working with these young children under adult supervision and the instructors. TCTC remains totally committed to children. Cosmetology. The cosmetology department provides students with the opportunity to master various skills learned in the beauty industry. Under licensed supervision, students serve as clients under the school hours providing valuable experience in this great profession. Students are even eligible to become licensed cosmetologists when they successfully complete the program. Biotechnology. TCTC offers biotechnology tech prep. In the biotechnology program, students demonstrate laboratory testing techniques, chemical material handling, molecular biology, and biohazard storage as well as handling and disposal. You can become lab med techs, health and safety consultants, and even environmental field technicians. Students in this program use their scientific know-how and their iPads to solve complex scientific problems. Engineering Technology Project Lead the Way in the Engineering Technology program, students explore mechanical, electrical, civil, and aerospace engineering while building on their science and math skills. Students in this program experience advanced robotics, electronics, computer-aided design, okay. and, and you're machining technologies. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy inventing, designing, and finding solutions to a challenging real-life situations, then Engineering Technology is the program for you. Hi, well Hi, welcome back to TCTC Live. I remain Mr. Liebig, English teacher, and here I am with Rachel Gorman, interactive multimedia senior, who's gonna tell us a little bit about some of the things you can expect to do and win at TCTC. Rachel, thanks for coming in. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Well, I, I, I have to ask, you're standing, uh, if you guys get a chance in the B hallway uh, upstairs, you're gonna see Rachel standing there next to a bunch of trophies. Some of them are hers, some of them are not but it sounds like you have done some impressive things here at the TCTC. Yep, um, last year as a junior for BPA, what I was able to do was at regionals, I won second place video production team, third place exam journey speech, and ninth place website design, and I was able to go to state for human resource management. And also over the summer, I was able to go to Ohio Business Week, which was, which was thanks to Business Professionals of America. I also went to Buckeye Girl State, and I became a youth advisor for the National Organizations for Youth Safety. Yeah, so you've done a couple of things, it sounds like. So um, I, I guess the question I'd ask is, is this the kind of thing you'll be doing if you were to TCTC, or has being in this program helped steer you into that? Um, being in this program definitely helped steer me into that. I know without TCTC, I would have never had any mm -hmm. of these opportunities, and it's really transformed me into a new person. It helped mm -hmm. me realize what I want to do with my life. Mm -hmm. So you spend half a day in academics, half a day in lab. Could you talk to us a little bit of some of the day-to-day -day things you do here in interactive multimedia? Oh uh, yeah, sure. So in interactive multimedia, um, as a senior, I have my academics first and my lab second, which I personally prefer better. <laughs> and in interactive multimedia, some of the stuff we do day to day is um, I go out and film. Some of us go out and film if we have a car. And um, we're always working on stuff and we're always editing. And we always have opportunity to take a lot of equipment home and bring it back to help out. OK, so Rachel, I guess kind of the last question I'm going to throw at you here is if anybody here in the building is kind of on the fence about whether they're going to attend TCTC, how would you sell them on it? How would you say to them, here's why you should go here? Um, TCTC has transformed me into a really well-educated and informed person, and I'm able to brag about a lot of things that most people my age aren't able to do, and I'm also very employable with me walking out of high school. I've been certified in both Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere at the end of my junior year, which is something that not even some college kids can say. And overall, I can walk out of here with a job and be employed full time, and that's not something a lot of average high school kids can say. And so whether you're considering this program or any program, it's definitely a great place, and I know you'll love it. All right. 
Well, guys, if you get a chance today, make sure that you stop, uh, stop by and talk to Rachel out in the hallway. She's got a few things to say, and maybe she can uh, fill you in on some of the things you see here at TCTC. Don't forget, guys, that we have our hashtag TCTC Live 2019. If you need to make sure that uh, if you want to engage with us in social media in some way. But, Rachel, very nice talking to you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Cosmetology. The cosmetology department provides students with the opportunity to master various skills learned in the beauty industry. Under licensed supervision, students serve as clients under the school hours providing valuable experience in this great profession. Students are even eligible to become licensed cosmetologists when they successfully complete the program. Biotechnology. TCTC offers biotechnology tech prep. In the biotechnology program, students demonstrate laboratory testing techniques, chemical material handling, molecular biology, and biohazard storage as well as handling and disposal. You can become lab med techs, health and safety consultants, and even environmental field technicians. Students in this program use their scientific know-how and their iPads to solve complex scientific problems. Engineering Technology Project Lead the Way in the engineering technology program, students explore mechanical, electrical, civil, and aerospace engineering while building on their science and math skills. Students in this program experience advanced robotics, electronics, computer-aided design, and machining technologies. If you enjoy inventing, designing, and finding solutions to a challenging real-life situations, then engineering technology is the program for you. In Animal Science Health and Technologies, students have the opportunity to explore the field of animal care, which includes animal health, veterinary science, and medical terminology. Students will develop and apply professional grooming and animal care skills as part of the customer service the program offers. Many students choose to continue their education towards careers as veterinary technicians, wildlife managers or biologists, and even veterinarians through completion of a two-year or four-year college program. Students are eligible to be employed in many animal care fields due to their basic training in important aspects of animal care upon program completion. Early Childhood Education. The Early Childhood Education program teaches students how to manage a daycare facility and interact with children on a developmentally appropriate level. The TCTC operates its own state certified preschool where students gain first-hand experience. You will learn the techniques of working with these young children under adult supervision and the instructors. TCTC remains totally committed to children. If you like digging in and repairing all kinds of engines, there's a program that will spark your interest. It's Power Equipment Mechanics. Students in this program learn to troubleshoot, repair, overhaul, and maintain gas and diesel power-driven machinery. There are motorcycles, ATVs, boats, lawnmowers, and more involved. Also included is powertrain hydraulics and electrical system repair. Career paths for the teaching profession. The teachers at the TCTC have fun and get real enjoyment out of teaching students. Someday, you may even want to be a teacher. Career Paths for the Teaching Profession is designed to give you a broad base of educational experience. Students in this program develop the art of instruction by creating dynamic lessons and teaching them to actual students. You'll be given an opportunity to achieve a seamless transition for college and a teacher educator program. TCTC has been awarded state and national recognition for student achievement and school improvement, including the High School That Works Platinum Award in 2014, four National School Improvement Awards, and Ohio's Outstanding Career Center Award. TCTC, your success starts here. Restaurant Services is focused on every aspect of culinary arts and restaurant management. The curriculum includes dining room management, cooking and baking, and menu planning. TCTC has their own restaurant. The students own the in-school restaurant, The Cove, and they, not the instructors, manage the daily service. Applying 
what they learn to give guests the best experience possible. In addition, seniors study for the NRAEF Manager's Food Safety Sanitation Certification, a certification that is taught in colleges and culinary schools around the country. This live stream is being brought to you by the Interactive Multimedia Lab. In Interactive Multimedia, there are three shows produced each week. If you are interested in continuing your career in producing media, stop on up for a live demonstration. Hi, welcome back to TCTC Open House Live. I'm Nick Liebig, English teacher, and here I am with something, someone that I know a little bit about, but no <laughs> content-wise. This is math teacher Courtney Summers. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> so we're at this open house, we're trying to give people kind of a feel of what TCTC is like. Yes. So I guess um, you wanted to talk a little bit about one of the activities that you're doing in your class, the H&R Student Budget Challenge? Yes. What is this? H&R Block, excuse me, right? Yes. So this is a student budget challenge provided by H&R Block. Mm -hmm. It's um, something that they do every year, um, and they give out scholarships to students. Mm -hmm. um, the second half of the year is starting, um, and I have students that are registering now. So it's an online simulation mm -hmm. game where they will have to keep track of their avatar's budget. So things will happen to their yeah. avatar throughout from February 14th to April 25th. Yeah. Um, and they might get in a car wreck, they'll have bills to pay. Um, this stuff just kind of happens to them? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's exciting. Yes, so there will be quizzes throughout the game that they have to answer. Wow. They get points based on how well they score. Um, so it's open to 100,000 students throughout the United States. Yeah. Um, and I have 20 spots reserved for 20 students to participate. Cool. Um, they have to be registered by a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And when April 25th comes, the top five students in the United States will earn a $20,000 scholarship to college mm -hmm. just for winning the points in the game. Mm. So it sounds like you're trying to connect your math classroom to what the real world is all about then. Trying. Yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of like a, a priority here at the TCTC, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, financial literacy is one of my favorite things to teach mm -hmm. in the classroom. And I think it's because kids get so excited once mm -hmm. we start teaching it because it's something that they can apply in real life. Mm -hmm. um, you'd be surprised how many students initially say that they choose a credit card because of the cute puppies on the front. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't want to laugh at cute puppies too much. Well, no. But but <laughs> I mean, that but you also don't want a 30% interest rate because of the cute puppies. Yeah, I, uh, I wish I had your <laughs> class when I, <laughs> when I was in high school. So um, we've been asking people kind of tonight to talk to us a little bit about um, why TCTC? We've got people coming into the building to think about, coming in the building to, you know, see what this place is about. So if you had to answer that question or someone asking you, like, why do you think they should go to TCTC? You know, to put you on the spot a little bit. Um, I think that we just do a really good job of giving kids that real wor world experience, mm -hmm. um, not just in their lab, but in their academics. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I'm most surprised about from a lot of students is they talk about how challenging the courses are and mm -hmm. that they weren't expecting that and how mm -hmm. prepared they feel once they leave here because of mm -hmm. how challenging they are. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we just give them a realness, we treat them um, with respect from the start, kind uh, of what's expected yeah. in the future. Yeah. So they're kind of exposed to what they can see as yeah. adults. I yeah, I, I feel like I've seen that a little <laughs> bit where you hear these students coming in at the beginning of the year who haven't been too thrilled about the school experience and then yeah. maybe spending half a day in lab, but also getting that kind of interaction you're talking about. They yeah. kind of come, a, I don't want to say alive because they're still breathing, but come a little <laughs> bit, I don't know, I don't want to say they like school, but yeah. they kind of I mean, nobody really talks about the academics a whole lot, hmm. so I guess maybe we're here to fight for the academics. are kind of fun, too, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. You're spending half the day with us, so you might as well like it. Yeah. Oh. Breaking news. Door prize. <laughs> Door prize. Well, guys, you should probably stay tuned just to make sure that you win the door prize. But uh, furthermore, I guess we're going to uh, remind you guys that if you want to check us out on social media um, or on the internet, you can go to tctchome.com. Uh, you can check us out with the hashtag TCTCLive2019. And if you, um, and we're going to roll a few more commercials, get you used to some of the things that are happening in lab. Thanks for Courtney having me. Courtney Summers, thanks for coming. I really yeah. appreciate it. I, I <laughs> almost understand math now. Good. All right. <laughs> Restaurant Services is focused on every aspect of culinary arts and restaurant management. 
The curriculum includes dining room management, cooking and baking, and menu planning. TCTC has their own restaurant. The students own the in-school restaurant, The Cove, and they, not the instructors, manage the daily service, applying what they learn to give guests the best experience possible. In addition, seniors study for the NRAEF Manager's Food Safety Sanitation Certification, a certification that is taught in colleges and culinary schools around the country. This live stream is being brought to you by the Interactive Multimedia Lab. In Interactive Multimedia, there are three shows produced each week. If you are interested in continuing your career in producing media, stop on up for a live demonstration. Cosmetology. The cosmetology department provides students with the opportunity to master various skills learned in the beauty industry. Under licensed supervision, students serve as clients under the school hours providing valuable experience in this great profession. Students are even eligible to become licensed cosmetologists when they successfully complete the program. Biotechnology. TCTC offers biotechnology tech prep. In the biotechnology program, students demonstrate laboratory testing techniques, chemical material handling, molecular biology, and biohazard storage as well as handling and disposal. You can become lab med techs, health and safety consultants, and even environmental field technicians. Students in this program use their scientific know-how and their iPads to solve complex scientific problems. Engineering Technology Project Lead the Way In the Engineering Technology program, students explore mechanical, electrical, civil, and aerospace engineering while building on their science and math skills. Students in this program experience advanced robotics, electronics, computer-aided design, and machining technologies. If you enjoy inventing, designing, and finding solutions to a challenging real-life situations, then engineering technology is the program for you. Welcome back. From health science and dental assisting programs to cosmetology, TCTC has a variety of programs that help people to look and feel better. But it's not just humans who need care. One of our most popular courses of study is the Animal Science Health and Technology Program. And here to talk to us about her lab and the creatures you can expect to meet there is instructor and walking ray of sunshine, Kathy Billock. And it looks like she has brought a friend. Kathy, how are you doing today? I'm great. This is Elvira. Elvira is a ferret. Um, she's an important part of our program. Um, very nosy, inquisitive. Um, they're in the mink category. Um, she's going to drink coffee. She's going for my coffee. You, uh, you don't want a caffeinated <laughs> ferret. Is that something you yeah. say on the first day here? <laughs> So when I think of animals, ferret isn't high on my list, so give us the range of animals that you work with down at Animal Science. Um, we have dogs, cats, ferrets, chinchillas, hedgehogs, guinea pigs, um, rats, mice, hamsters, gerbils, um, hedgehogs, fish, um, anything and everything that you would want to learn on the basics of animal care. And, and can you tell us a little bit about, you know, her name's Elvira, Elvira. Uh, we go back a long ways. How, how, are, you, how are you doing, girl? Um, they've been best buddies for a while. <laughs> yeah, she has a distinctive uh, musk to her. Is that common to the uh, ferret? They are in that category with weasels um, that all have what is a mm. mustadalia family. Okay. Um, if you've ever used any kind of cologne or um, perfume or anything that has musk in it, it would be coming from their oh. other end, okay? Gotcha. That Whoa. the smell comes that from. That changes so, <laughs> some future purchases from now on. So those are some of the areas that when you're smelling that smell right now, it might not smell good to you, but when you buy it in the store, you might think it smells pretty good. So uh, other than having a further understanding of where perfume comes from, um, <laughs> when students walk out of your lab, what are some of the things that they're prepared to do? Um, great questions. We do have full um, certification in American um, Heart Association. We do OSHA. The students get medical terminology, which is the Dean Bond, which is accepted in a lot of the colleges. Mm -hmm. um, they do anatomy and physiology, so they're on the as aspect. We groom one day a week, so that gives them a basics on how to groom and get ready. Um, they do kennel work, uh, they'll learn external, internal parasites, anything that gives them a great overview of what you're looking in the animal care field. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You mentioned some of the things that colleges are looking for that you're supporting your students with, but recently you had some college students 
come to your lab because of what you offer them. Can you explain that a little Correct. bit? Correct. Um, the veterinary technician program over here at Kent State, um, they wanted their students to get the exposure of the exotics, the snakes, all of the animals, the chinchillas, where, uh, how to do TPRs, um, how to do respirations, temperatures, how to properly restrain them to be able to draw blood where their venipuncture areas were. So that was really good that a college program came over to mm -hmm. our students to have them um, mm -hmm. teach them the basics of uh, handling restraint mm -hmm. for them when they further their career. Mm -hmm. Do you work closely with the uh, equine, the, the, or as I like to call it, horsey science, Correct. horsey we, studies? Um, because this is an animal pathway, um, we do have some crossover. Mm -hmm. It's more in the anatomy and physiology and the medical terminology mm -hmm. than it is in the actual hands-on um, aspect of it. So uh, okay. that is just kind of two separates on that aspect. Mm -hmm. But as for um, you know the basics of it, they will get both the, an the restraining and the handling mm -hmm. and all. Um, and to go back to Elvira, is she as sharp as she looks? Uh, she is. She's very inquisitive. She's know. very, um, <laughs> wants to know what's going on, when's going on, things. Um, um, I was actually thinking literally sharp. Those are claws on that oh, thing. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, believe it or not, that little mouth has 40 teeth mm -hmm. in it. Um, mm -hmm. So as small as it is, <laughs> yeah. um, she okay. and she's kind of trying to show them now. Yeah. Um, they are very versatile. They'll hold still when you restrain them in a proper way. Um, Does that work on well, students? Yes. <laughs> so those are some of the aspects that they do for me. Okay. Oh, she really likes you. <laughs> I, I know. I, I <laughs> so it's kind of, but it's really a great program if a student's looking to get like, um, whether they stay in working with animals because we give them a good basics of um, mm -hmm. medical too as well, it gives them a good base on no matter what they would like to do, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be animal or human. Okay. So a question that we're asking everybody tonight is, if I'm a student in the building, your program, any program, Correct. why why would I want to come to TCTC? Why uh, should I come here? I, I think TCTC is amazing. I've been here 23 years, and to see what it has produced and the students and the opportunities that are available here, um, both hands-on as well as academic, and how great the whole school works together is just absolutely amazing, just to make sure that we produce the best student that we possibly can. It's a tremendous school. Well, Kathy, it looks like, uh, it looks like Elvira's getting a little bit tired right now. I think we should let her get, uh, get back to her place before she starts um, going at my eyes. But thank you so much for thank coming you. in. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you, thank All right. you. All right, coming up uh, next, or after that, Student Spotlight. Restaurant Services is focused on every aspect of culinary arts and restaurant management. The curriculum includes dining room management, cooking and baking, and menu planning. TCTC has their own restaurant. The students own the in-school restaurant, The Cove, and they, not the instructors, manage the daily service, applying what they learn to give guests the best experience possible. In addition, seniors study for the NRAEF Manager's Food Safety Sanitation Certification, a certification that is taught in colleges and culinary schools around the country. This live stream is being brought to you by the Interactive Multimedia Lab. In Interactive Multimedia, there are three shows produced each week. If you are interested in continuing your career in producing media, stop on up for a live demonstration. Exercise science isn't just about lifting weights. The exercise science and sports medicine program at TCTC helps its students learn how to help people overcome their fears, cope with and prevent injuries, and learn how to live longer, healthier lives. Exercise science students will study injury recognition and prevention, exercise programming, nutrition and weight management. Students in the program can receive dual credit in medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. Upon completion of this program, students are prepared for an advanced education in a number of exercise science and or sports medicine related fields, or they're prepared for immediate employment upon graduation. The Construction Technologies program prepares students for all sorts of opportunities in the construction field like learning the basics in masonry, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. 
In addition, students learn to operate a wide range of professional power tools to perform customer service for both commercial and nonprofit clients. You will also learn to interpret blueprints and specifications to construct wood products and design digital woodworking templates to be used on a CNC router. Recently, students have remodeled century homes, built beautiful two-story family dwellings, and completed many other community service projects. Students have built some amazing things in the class as well as off the school premises. Students enjoy this rewarding work firsthand and prepare to go on to advanced training or apprenticeship opportunities. Air Force Junior ROTC. Would you like to explore a career in the military? TCTC offers Air Force Junior ROTC. The curriculum emphasizes the Air Force's heritage and traditions, the development of flight, applied flight sciences, military aerospace policies, and space exploration. This program is grounded in the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all. So welcome back. At TCTC, we know that everyone needs a little help sometimes, yeah. whether it's as simple as teachers staying after class or providing a dedicated space for additional assistance, like in our extra help lab. TCTC has resources for you. At your home schools, intervention specialists are available to offer some help. At TCTC, these teachers are called BOCES. Let me introduce you to the dedicated team that will be working with you when you come here. And by me introducing, I mean they're going to introduce themselves. <laughs> okay. Hi, so. I'm Mrs. Hampton, and the programs I work with are ROTC, HVAC, and public safety. I'm Mrs. Nantes. I work with electrical technology. <laughs> I work with engineering, landscape design, welding, and I cover academics for science. I'm Amanda Silviti, and I work with farm tech, pre-nursing, exercise science, marketing, and career exploration. Good evening, I'm Jamie Stevens, and I work with restaurant services, hospitality, career path for teaching professions, early childhood, and academically, I assist with math and English. I'm Mrs. Jones, I work with visual design, web design, interactive multimedia, computer networking, and cosmetology. And the academic I work with is English. Hi, Mrs. Durig. I cover the labs in power equipment, biotechnology, animal science equine, and animal science health and technology, and I also help with some math. I'm Janet Barron, and I work with construction tech, auto service, and auto collision, and I also work with some math teachers. I'm just super impressed that <laughs> You guys got all of that up. So that's like, like I may have forgotten. If you can tell us what is a VOC, like it's an actual acronym, what does it stand for? And then, because that's a mystery to me right, always, but right. then two, what do you do to help students in our building? Well, VOC stands for our Vocational Special Education Coordinator. And like you said, we're intervention specialists. We have a little bit more background knowledge in the vocational field. Um, we work with the teachers to make sure that students are receiving accommodations if they have IEPs. Um, we write the IEPs. We assist with the transitioning from to TCTC and from TCTC, whatever their E may be. Okay. Okay. On a day-to-day -day basis, what does your day look like? Mm -hmm. How many students are you working with? What what do, you know? What is that? Because I know you're all over the place. Uh, I think our caseload varies. Um, some of us actually teach classes. I was well as carry a caseload for students. Um, I would say in the average range of about 50 students, some less if we're carrying a class or some more. So um, you may find us in a program, you may find us in our academics, you may find us in the extra help lab. Um, you could find us anywhere around the building, um, sometimes conferencing with students or in an IEP meeting. So um, might need a call. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> to see where you are. Um, so you mentioned helping st students transition from their homeschool to here, they're gonna mm -hmm. be with us for two years. How Correct. do you then help them transition towards their E? We use different services um, throughout the county and such um, to assist them with either applications for college. If they plan to work in the community, we may hook them up with somebody like DVR, OOD, and so forth that can assist them with job placement, um, gaining more employment skills, some soft skills, different things like that. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. So just to wrap up, uh, we're asking everybody, why should students come to TCTC? I'm going to take that one. Okay. Yeah. I think we can all universally agree that we have a huge advantage when it comes to employment over your peers, 
Employers want to know that you have some 21st century skills. They want to know that you know what's important as a customer service technician or in your industry or trade. Um, you walk out the door with a certificate for your program. Um, and in addition, one of the most important things for employment is networking. And here you have the opportunity to do that with a great staff as well as students outside of your home district. So definitely the TCTC e-vantage. Oh, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> I'm convinced in that. Yeah. yeah. Great way to work in the e-word. All right, ladies, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Mike and Nick, you're going to want to grab your hair nuts because after this break, we'll be back with you in the restaurant. Oh, thank God, no hair nuts. <laughs> It all starts with that spark, that passion and imagination that drives us to achieve our dreams. For generations, career and technical education has built the foundation for these dreams to become reality. By celebrating today and owning tomorrow, career and technical education students are filling the skills gap and pursuing their dreams. CTE makes these dreams possible. TCTC's job training program provides support and assistance to students who require intensive support in order to transition from school to the work environment. Its goal is to help students obtain and maintain competitive or supported employment through individualized and community-based training, collaborating with business partners, and developing a support network. The job training program philosophy is based on the knowledge that people with significant disabilities are employable. Turning that belief into a reality is the function of the job training coordinator. The primary objective is to match a student's abilities and interests with the needs of an employer and provide the necessary supports so that the student can be successful in the work environment. This occurs through a support network of individualized, on-the-job training facilitated through job coaches. So all evening we've been asking you to check out our hashtag and, and tweet us at hashtag TCTC Live 2019. Something that we've been tweeting a lot this year also is our TCTC time broadcasts. These happen every Tuesday and Thursday morning. They are totally run by students in our interactive multimedia lab. So right now we're going to have a couple of clips to show you that feature our TCTC time producer, Emily, and our director, Macy. Enjoy. Hi. My name is Emily Warner and I am a student here at Trumbull Career and Technical Center and my program is Interactive Multimedia. So I am the executive producer of a show called TCTC Time, which is aired Tuesdays and Thursdays and it's just a great way to get information across. Good morning and welcome to TCTC Time. Um, I do also produce um, another show called Musical Mondays. It's more of a fun show for kids who want to showcase their talents and it's usually every Monday if we have somebody who signs up. Emily's the brains behind both TCTC Time and Musical Mondays. Emily's very involved with CTTC Time. If Emily doesn't know what's going on, then we have a problem. Um, you know, if you're like, what's the topic tomorrow, and Emily doesn't know, then we know it's probably not going to happen. CCTC Time has impacted my life so well, and including all of the other shows as well. I just, you know, it gives me something to really care about. Um, you know, I get to meet all of these new teachers and students every time I do a show, and they're just amazing. You know, I love seeing a new face all the time. I love figuring out who people are. I love to figure out what they like. I, I just love it. And being able to be in something like this is pretty amazing. If she wasn't a part of it, I don't know that TCTC Time would be as um, successful as it has been. So even though TCTC Time only happens on Tuesdays and Thursdays for, you know, 10 minutes max, 
um, she's putting in a lot of work um, prior to. Emily's really helped out making sure that uh, topics are covered, that the calendar's set. Um, and so far everything's been going well. My ultimate favorite has to be the Christmas special. To me, five golden rings. And it was just because it was so unexpected and I think it gave everybody here a chance to see staff members in a different light and it was fun. My life was very different being at my home school. I don't really think I was hanging out with the best people. I wasn't my best self and I wasn't particularly motivated when I first attended this school last year. TCTC has this motto. Um, it's discover your greatness and here at TCTC and this opportunity that I have to do all of these shows, I think I'm truly discovering my greatness. Opportunities have a way of appearing out of nowhere. And this past summer, I had an amazing opportunity. I had the chance to work with the Mahoning Valley Scrappers after attending my junior year at Trumbull Current Technical Center. I thought this would be a fun way to spend my summer, but little did I know it would change my life. Uh, some of the things that we added for the 20th season were a brand new video board, whole new sound system, um, and then we also added on the MILB TV streaming, um, and then enhanced the entire production room as well. Macy was a very hardworking individual. She was able to step up and fill in wherever we needed her, including uh, doing the PTZ, the stream for the MILB.TV, and doing music and doing the fan cam, which is the mobile cam down on the concourse. She was able to fill in uh, whenever we asked her to. Macy was one of the most reliable students that we had. She pretty much came to every game. She was there earlier if you know we needed someone to come a, a couple hours earlier before the game started. Um, she was always willing to do above and beyond uh, what the expectations were. Attitude is very important uh, we're working in sports and I think Macy had the exact attitude that we're looking for in any intern um, that we would hire. So with that attitude and her just enjoyment of working and doing everything that she did at the stadium, I think that will help her move forward and do well in the future. All of this experience has led to my success in the Great American Noble Challenge. I've even caught the eye of two local news stations who spoke to me about my success and experience with the Scrappers. I'm also the director of our live shows, TCTC Time and Musical Monday at my school. Not only am I the director of two live shows, but I'm also the local BPA chapter president. Now I'm a senior at Trumbull Career and Technical Center applying for colleges and jobs in a field that I would want to go into. Coming out of high school, I have professional references, which is a huge advantage. I took advantage of the opportunity presented to me by the scrappers, and I couldn't thank them enough. Hi, welcome back to TCTC Life. You know, we're about halfway through the night, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little bit hungry. Let's throw it down to Nick Goodworth in the school's restaurant to see what's cooking. Nick, all you. Hi, welcome back. We're currently in the back, in the back kitchen of marketing education of restaurant services, my apologies, yeah, no, with fine. Destiny and Miss yeah. Daly. Hi, welcome. So tell me, if you could please, um, what are some of the things you do on a daily basis here in restaurant services? Go, Des, okay. she's our senior, go for it. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm the manager, so I usually walk around, make sure everything's going smoothly, make sure all the stations have the food coming up, call off orders, make sure everything's running smooth. Um, the students come right in here, get their station set up, and get up, get set up to run for the day. Yeah, they're in here from starting of third period until the end of seventh, and then eighth they go to academics. They spend all day with us. Interesting stuff. So, what would you say are some of the skills that you develop here? Well, you develop how to be able to cook for yourself when you go to college and not spend so much money on pizza and gain the freshman 10, is that what it's called, or freshman 15? 15? But you gain knife skills, safety, sanitation, literally how to cook for yourself or other people. You easily can get a job front of the house or back of the house if you pursue college or choose to just work right out of school. Yeah, you, you learn a lot. What do you know? What do you know how to do for cooking? Like, what's the most favorite thing you like to cook? All I know how to cook is mac and cheese. To be honest with you, 
Is it Kraft Mac and Cheese? No. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yes. We're gonna have to steal you when we do Soul Food Week and teach you some real mac and cheese. All right, that'd be super oh. helpful. Yes. Awesome. I can make some pretty good French toast myself. <laughs> some right over there. We should have had you come down earlier. Oh, man. I wish. <laughs> So, if you could, why would someone would why would someone come here to take the course here at TCTC? You would take this program at TCTC if you have a passion for cooking, Food Network, um, serving in the front of the house, back of the house, learning how to waitress, um, communication skills, just overall learning how to be in your kitchen at home. All right. Interesting. All right. Well, remember to use the hashtag TCTCLive2019, everybody. Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> it would be impossible to go through the day without touching something that has been welded, like cars, furniture, ATVs, submarines, and in this case, even the kitchen sink. In welding, you'll dig right in and get classroom instruction as well as hands-on training. Big money and plenty of opportunities exist for completers of this program. How do we get oil? Through a welded pipeline, of course. Once an accomplished welder with the certifications you will gain at the TCTC, you'll have the opportunity to advance to foreman or even an inspector. College credits can be earned to advance your education to become an engineer or metallurgist. There is and always will be work in this career path. In the Visual Design and Imaging program, you will learn to design and produce advertising and marketing projects from start to finish. Students are taught to provide excellent customer service while interpreting job specifications, estimating, ordering, and delivering client projects on schedule. Creative students completing this program can even become an accredited printer. The machinery and computers used are the newest in digital imaging technology. Welcome back to TCTC Live. I'm Mr. Liebeg, Nick Liebeg, even an English teacher. We're here with some of my people, fellow English teachers. Oh, to my direct left, I have Megan Mock, and right next to her, we have Hope Bobinick. Now, these are two premier English teachers here at the school. All right, I'm not exaggerating to say that, am I? They are, um, but. They are down tonight. What, uh, what are you up to tonight? So we're, we're downstairs at the application station um, where you can log on and apply right here at TCTC to um, get started on your application and submit it so that you could be a part of our enrollment um, in the fall. So is it an easy process you're walking them through? It is. All you have to do is log on, um, hit apply now, and then fill out your information and the two top programs you want to enter into, and then you're applying. Yeah, yeah. good. Yep, you'll come. Yeah, you'll be here next year. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to have one of these English teachers uh, helping you out as juniors. Um, I guess maybe um, we talk a lot about the programs here at TCTC, but I think um, you know you're spending half the day in the academics. So um, maybe the students would like to know a little bit about what what goes on. You guys work pretty closely together, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're. Wait, Excuse we're getting a. This just stand, please. Abigail Brooks, report to the, wait, did this say cafeteria? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cafeteria. <laughs> so um, you guys work together. Your, your neighbor's right outside there. So what are some of the things that in the English class, like if people end up in your English class, what, are, what can they expect? So we understand that we are in a career tech environment here. And so that is essential that we become integrated in that culture as academic teachers. So we work very closely to make sure that our academic English classes are reflective of what you come to TCTC for, to be engaged and to be active and to have ownership over your own learning. So what you can kind of expect, at least in our classrooms, is that you are choosing your um, pathways mm -hmm. for what you're reading and what you're writing and that you are being supported by a facilitator and mm -hmm. by other classmates um, to kind of learn through making mistakes and through figuring out who you are as a reader and a writer and a human. Um, and you have just 
facilitators in the room to kind of help you figure that out, which is really essentially what your lab teachers are too. So mm -hmm. I try to be that way. Able to make mistakes. I wish I had that class in yeah, high school. No. So I guess I guess one thing I like to ask uh, academic teachers too is I know when I have that thing that I love, that day that I'm always looking forward to. What's the thing? What's the day, the lesson, or the concept? You wake up that morning, you're like, I can't wait to teach this, or I can't wait to work through this. Sure. So I think today um, something that <laughs> happened in my classroom where that um, we're thinking about the way we learn and the way we think. So students really got to have a voice and explain how um, we got here and how they became the learners and thinkers they are today. So just yeah. giving them voice and allowing them to talk about their journey. Yeah. The thing that I hear most coming out of your classroom is, you know, like you said, all the choice in the books and um, students come out of your classes really being in a reading culture. And I just got it through my earpiece that um, some people want to know, what's your favorite book? Oh, oh. goodness. I, I know, that's like asking, it's a real Sophie's I mean, choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know, for, uh, I feel like we could probably agree on this, but um, the number one book that I always give students and that I love myself is Long, Long Way, Way Down, Down by, by um, Jason Reynolds. Yeah, so yes. it's um, written in verse, so it oh, yeah. reads like poetry, mm -hmm. um, but it has a really good rich narrative mm -hmm. to it. And do students respond to that book in particular? That is yes. the number one book that is literally out. kids are like, you can't get me to read a book. So yeah. like, oh, try go. not reading Long Way Down. Yeah. Here you go. Like, try not to read it. It takes place inside yeah. an elevator, so mm -hmm. the whole book is about three minutes long. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's a long, yeah. short yeah. ride. Yeah. Oh. And it's like one of the ones where you, the kids are like, I can't stop turning the page. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I can't stop. I just go and turn the page. Yeah. Uh, like the book is happening yeah. to them rather yeah. than they're reading. Yeah, they yeah. can't understand it. So, so I guess I, I also want to know, so what's next for you guys this year? What are some of your plans uh, coming up in the next couple months? Um. <laughs> <laughs> we let them kind of help us yeah, yeah. I guess. I know. Mm -hmm. um, making sure that Capstone's looking yeah. good, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. um, making sure they're working on their like mm -hmm. end of the nine weeks portfolios and mm -hmm. you know finishing mm -hmm. the books they're currently reading. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the one question that we're asking uh, everybody here tonight is to think about we have people coming into the school, you know, trying to make a decision if this is the right place for them. You mm -hmm. know, if somebody's not sure if this is the right place for them. What would you maybe tell them? What would you talk about with them? Um, I would say to try. Mm -hmm. um, I think that any student who just kind of tries it here, it pretty much works. Mm -hmm. um, and be the reason for that is because half the day you're invested in a program you've chosen, so your motivation is super high. And then the other half of the day you're with um, you know, academic teachers that mm -hmm. are really interested in your growth in the classroom and really want you to succeed. Mm -hmm. So I just think the environment is really great. Yeah, and I also like support everything that Miss B just said. But um, for me, as someone who was in a traditional high school and who previously taught in a traditional high school, the thing I love most about TCTC is that um, there's this true, authentic learning happening. That we're not really learning because we want a good grade, but we're learning because we want to be learning, and because it's fun, and because we're we can feel like we're growing in whatever ways that we want to be growing in. Um, and so I feel like your learning has more purpose at TCTC. Um, and I, I mean, I feel energized by that. And because everybody's so invested, I think everybody's energized by that. And it just becomes a place of a true culture of people supporting one another. And it's a very truly happy place. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I would say. Right, well, guys, make sure that you stop down and see uh, Mrs. Mock and Ms. Bobinick tonight to make sure that you guys get applied uh, to TCTC. Ladies, thanks for coming in. Thank you. That's thanks, the Lyman. word from the English department. <laughs> Stick around. Hospitality Services prepares students for a variety of positions in this fast-growing industry. First-year students work within TCTC at different job stations. Juniors also run a catering business called Top Notch Catering. Second year students train with employee mentors at an area hospital four days a week. You will learn to develop meal plans, shop, prepare, cook, and serve meals with artistic presentation. TCTC's heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration program prepares students for immediate employment after graduation in this always needed industry. Or students can continue their education for advanced career opportunities. While in the program, students will explore HVACR in industrial and residential atmospheres. They will exercise problem-solving skills to design and produce solutions for heating and air conditioning systems from concept to completion 
and apply specific learned skills and experiences towards solving challenging problems in the world of HVACR. Exercise science isn't just about lifting weights. The Exercise Science and Sports Medicine program at TCTC helps its students learn how to help people overcome their fears, cope with and prevent injuries, and learn how to live longer, healthier lives. Exercise Science students will study injury recognition and prevention, exercise programming, nutrition, and weight management. Students in the program can receive dual credit in medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. Upon completion of this program, students are prepared for an advanced education in a number of exercise science and or sports medicine related fields, or they're prepared for immediate employment upon graduation. The Construction Technologies program prepares students for all sorts of opportunities in the construction field, like learning the basics in masonry, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. In addition, students learn to operate a wide range of professional power tools to perform customer service for both commercial and nonprofit clients. You will also learn to interpret blueprints and specifications to construct wood products and design digital woodworking templates to be used on a CNC router. Recently, students have remodeled century homes, built beautiful two-story family dwellings, and completed many other community service projects. Students have built some amazing things in the class as well as off the school premises. Students enjoy this rewarding work firsthand and prepare to go on to advanced training or apprenticeship opportunities. Air Force Junior ROTC. Would you like to explore a career in the military? TCTC offers Air Force Junior ROTC. The curriculum emphasizes the Air Force's heritage and traditions, the development of flight, applied flight sciences, military aerospace policies, and space exploration. This program is grounded in the Air Force core values of integrity first, yeah, service yeah. for self, and excellence in all that we do. Live at the desk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we get to the end of the night, things are getting a little loose here at the uh, TCTC Live. I remain Mr. Liebig, and I'm here with the TCTC Science Department. Um, yeah, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Um, and, um, I look too pink on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Men mental note, don't look at screen. There's, I don't know. I think there's, you guys are the science people. Is there some sort of vitamin you can take for that? Yeah, I'm sure. Vitamin D or something, I don't know. So my understanding is there's some sort of uh, demonstration that you guys are going to be doing here mm -hmm. uh, related to science here. I don't know why we do that. I, I'll, I can back up a little bit more. We got Mr. Street coming in. We got uh, Street, McLean, Landers, Panic going on here. Um, can you guys talk a little bit about yeah. the science we're doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Jeff will start with you with our science. Oh, what was that? Oh, go by science. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you teach here, Jeff? I teach earth dynamics and I teach coordinated science. And what Mr. Street here is going to do is he's going to pull back on this large plastic piece mm -hmm. and he's going to show some air moving, which kind of like is the same thing when we're talking about air mass and breezes and things like that. So go ahead and yay! Oh, you didn't knock them all down. You don't win the prize. <laughs> oh, it's static. Oh, oh. You still can't get that right no. side to come down. Okay. Okay. And is there a scientific reason for that? It's probably holding it the wrong way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> I felt the breeze. So, oh, oh, we've got a smoke ring happening oh, here. Yeah. Can you knock the cup down with the smoke ring? Could you talk a little bit about the, I don't know, I'm an English oh, teacher, there the we scientific go. process at work here? Okay, so in physics, that would. What you saw with the smoke rings, um, this Deep air blast, or what Boy, is, is that what we see? Yeah, that's vortices, us. or yeah. vortexes, caused by exactly. disturbances in the air where air is moving faster. I'm Mrs. Landers. I teach physics and chemistry here at the TCTC. Um, we get excited about doing things that bring the students to the material so they can experience it directly. A lot of hands-on labs, especially in chemistry, too. So that was just an example of some fog and some vortices and some air columns. So 
What are some of the other, uh, I know you guys do a lot of exciting projects, a lot of more, uh, hands-on stuff. What are the things that you wake up in the morning for on that day you're like, this is the day? Um, Snow? Well, <laughs> <laughs> or fog, you like today. Uh, uh, freezing rain. Freezing snow fog, freezing rain. Is there, and School flooded. Do you have Grand any... Top five done yet? Do you guys have any theories as to why Ohio gets this kind of winter right now? Because this isn't making a whole lot of sense to me. Global, global warming. Global right? warming and the polar vortex. <laughs> Sounds good. Vortex, there we go. There there we we go. Go. Polar vortex. vortex. There you go. Yeah, there it is. Sounds Maybe good. he was prompting us. I, I don't know. I'm oh, just okay. here. Like I feel like when you guys come on, I just like, get to sit back and experience science yeah, uh, yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. I don't know. I just tell them to write about how they feel. You know, We strum <laughs> guitars and sit cross-legged in the middle of the room like a bunch of hippies. Yeah. Well, uh, that's not an accurate statement, I would <laughs> think. <laughs> Sorry. It's getting a little late in the night. So, guys, I guess if we're spending half the day in, a, in, in academic classes, um, I don't know, what separates your class from everybody else's? What makes you guys such an interesting time? Because I just hear a lot of stuff coming out of the science department, that's all. D-Wing? D-Wing. D-Wing. We're in trouble. D-Wing. <laughs> D-Wing. D-Wing. Better letter, letter than A or B. Yeah, that's true. That's or true. C. Actually, yeah. well, C is just a hallway. Actually, I think most of us, when we're teaching, really? what, we, what we try to do is apply what the, the kids can take what we have and take, like, I've been doing weather, so they can yeah. actually go home, look up the weather, do the things on the TV, they can actually understand or they can apply it, which is not in the book, it's just not a lab, it's actually they can take that whole idea and take it outside mm -hmm. of the building and use it, so. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, who's teaching physics here? Okay, um, so I guess the question that I'm asking, thinking back to my high school experience, what is physics and why did I do so poorly in it? Um, well, <laughs> physics is, um, Probably, let's start with why you did some poorly. Because <laughs> 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 that seems to be on my mind. Um, we'll do the top ten. Uh, basically, it is applied math, mathematics. Mm -hmm. yeah. It gives a context. Um, physics is the study of the way mm -hmm. that matter behaves in a macroscopic level mm -hmm. when, force, um, when forces are applied. Mm -hmm. But what students often don't understand mm -hmm. is they fear it because of the math, but once they get to see it, Mm -hmm. and they get to experience it, and they get to work through the problems that are basically algebra yeah. one and two. Yeah. It, well, yeah. okay, but it, it becomes really interesting for them after, uh, by the end of the year, I see them start to mm -hmm. get why physics is such an interesting subject not to be feared. So between the uh, the vortices that we ju vertices ju vortices no vortices vortices is a math thing a vortex vortex the vortices. vortices okay vortices. the vortexes that we just saw what are some ways that you do help students to experience firsthand you know we see we see the the um, the the blast of air destroying these cups we see the smoke rings what are some other ways you guys like to connect this stuff Panic? connect with stuff well connect <laughs> this stuff to uh, yeah. You can tell I'm really right up on science about well, I mean, I mean, this stuff. I mean, right now we're doing, we've done some things identifying mm -hmm. different metals. So mm -hmm. when you're doing copper, I'll tell the electrical students, if you, use, you know, if it's copper colored, you might want to think about copper and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and we'll be doing electricity. Mm -hmm. You know, we did, uh, we were, we did jacks, uh, hydraulics, so we talk about auto mm -hmm. service. So a lot of stuff we do in a demonstration because mm -hmm. those are very other areas of the wetland. Yeah. Uh, and Mr. Street, it's your first year here at TCTC. Right. So, um, how is uh, how how did this? You know, I should really plan ahead with these questions on this. Yeah. So the science department throws me off. So, I don't know, how are you finding the school so far? I like it. So, mm -hmm. I, it seems like all the kids are really engaged in what they're doing. So, mm -hmm. I think the combination of the programs with the academics keeps them excited about school. Mm -hmm. The one question that we've been throwing out to everybody here. Um, essentially is we filled the school with people who are thinking about whether or not they want to come to TCTC. And I'm going to dare to ask, like, if you had to, exp uh, if you had to say to somebody, this is why you should go to TCTC, or here's one reason why we think you should go here, what would you tell them? <laughs> I think it because it gives them the most options coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. um, you come here, even if you don't want to go into a career field, you still get a trade. Mm -hmm. So I tell kids all the time here that come, you probably want to own a house, you want to own a car, you want to do things, but why not come here and get a trade while you get your academics and you can graduate so you have all the options you have. And we have our OTC too, so you can right. have mm -hmm. a channel to get you some military benefits and public safety as well. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, this is the TCTC Science Department. Please stick around for the rest of Open House Live. Thanks for coming in, guys. Really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Exercise science isn't just about lifting weights. 
The exercise science and sports medicine program at TCTC helps its students learn how to help people overcome their fears, cope with and prevent injuries, and learn how to live longer, healthier lives. Exercise science students will study injury recognition and prevention, exercise programming, nutrition, and weight management. Students in the program can receive dual credit in medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. Upon completion of this program, students are prepared for an advanced education in a number of exercise science and or sports medicine related fields, or they're prepared for immediate employment upon graduation. The Construction Technologies program prepares students for all sorts of opportunities in the construction field like learning the basics in masonry, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. In addition, students learn to operate a wide range of professional power tools to perform customer service for both commercial and nonprofit clients. You will also learn to interpret blueprints and specifications to construct wood products and design digital woodworking templates to be used on a CNC router. Recently, students have remodeled century homes, built beautiful two-story family dwellings, and completed many other community service projects. Students have built some amazing things in the class, as well as off the school premises. Students enjoy this rewarding work firsthand and prepare to go on to advanced training or apprenticeship opportunities. Air Force Junior ROTC. Would you like to explore a career in the military? TCTC offers Air Force Junior ROTC. The curriculum emphasizes the Air Force's heritage and traditions, the development of flight, applied flight sciences, military aerospace policies, and space exploration. This program is grounded in the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all that we do. How would you like to help power the world? The Electrical Technology Program teaches the basic fundamentals of electricity and safety. In this program, you will use your logical thinking and math skills to interpret blueprints and lay out design. Students also design, stage, and install commercial and residential electrical wiring for power control systems from rough in to finish. There are great opportunities in this field after graduation. There's a great demand for electrical technicians, especially in the areas of solar and wind energy. What's your E? Enroll. Enlist. Employ. Find your E at TCTC. Landscaping and design technologies is all about sustaining our environment. Making our world a more comfortable, beautiful, and healthy place to live is what we do. We are the professional green growth industry. Students in this program will acquire skills to produce and care for plants indoors, under glass and outdoors. Floral design and retail floral marketing talents are needed in every community. Landscape service and design continue growth as high demand, well paid careers. Outdoor power equipment operation is key for all areas of landscaping. Thanks for sticking with us all night here for TCTC Lives. I'm Mr. Leibig, an English instructor here, and we're just about at the end of the night. I want to let you know that at TCTC, you can expect to work hard uh, at something you love and learn a whole lot about a whole lot, but uh, it's not all hard work, and no one knows that more than Rick Summers, the star of TCTC's Musical Monday, a show produced by our very own interactive multimedia program. Mr. Summers, thanks for coming in. Appreciate for it. It's good to be here. I see that you brought some sort of stringed instrument here. Is this some sort of banjo or baritone uh, saxophone? This is actually just a guitar. Oh, okay. And so what's your regular uh, job here at the TCTC? My regular job is math instructor, but mm -hmm. on Monday mornings you can find me on Musical Monday. Yeah. Talk us through, what can we expect to see on an episode of Musical Monday? So a typical episode of Musical Monday entails bringing on a musical guest, usually a student, who is skilled at some instrument or singing. So they come on, sometimes they play alone, sometimes they want me to accompany them. Mm -hmm. But uh, we play a song and it uh, usually turns out pretty good. Oh. So can you talk about like what, uh, what's been your favorite experience so far with Musical Monday? Uh, favorite experience so far, we had a student from Restaurant Services that came on and uh, actually she came from your class. I know that she gained her musical experience as mm -hmm. a part of a project that she did for your class mm -hmm. and 
Uh, she really loved music and she really had a great voice. And mm. It was great to just see her kind of come out of her shell and get mm -hmm. to play in front of people. Now, before we uh, before we ask you to like show us how this uh, this guitar works, um, I, I guess I'll throw out the question um, that we've been asking everyone all night, or like um, people who are here, you know, checking out the school for the first time. What would you tell them uh, about why they should at least give TCTC a chance? Well, TCTC is the school of choice. So you choose to be here and you choose to do something that you love. And it's about finding out a little bit about yourself and a little bit about who you are. See if this is something that you really love and really enjoy and mm -hmm. learn about yourself. All right. Well, would you like to play us out for the rest of the night? Might as well. All right. We're right here. Go ahead and get started. Well, before Mr. Summers starts singing, um, we'd like to thank everybody for giving us a chance here coming into TCTC Live. I'd like to thank the production crew, Macy, our director, just about everybody else here. And I want to thank, uh, well, Nick, Mike, Blake for running our remotes, and for all of you guys for sticking around so long. Mr. Summers, you know, whenever you're ready to go, we'd love to hear you.